welcome to Gemstone Tarot Weekend Tarot for, God, is it another weekend? What's a weekend? Maggie Smith from Downton. Okay, so 15th and 16th of June 2024, we have a solid weekend in Libra, which I think is very, very pleasant sounding. You know, just nice. And we're coming up to the solstice. When's the solstice? 20th of June. Okay, cool. Let me know what you woof. Let me know what you're doing at the weekend. I have been uh, dancing in my kitchen this morning. I danced to Howard Jones, Nick Kershaw, and the cranberries. It was brilliant. My sister has been saying to me that I need to do a bit more exercise, and a suggestion is more dancing in the kitchen. I think perhaps she realises, I don't know, I was going to do the couch to 5k thing, but that turned into couch to fridge, as we all know, um, which is admirable in itself. We could do a couple of squats on the way to picking up Ben and Jerry's squat as you go back. I mean, technically, you squat back onto the sofa, don't you? That's my story. So that's what I've been doing. Let me know what you've been doing. Let me know what exercise you actually like to do or can manage to actually do you know what i mean um it might give me some inspiration and i have an email from susan more cat names i love this and there's more fairy dolls by the way on the community tab and also more to come so after i had to put spike my beloved 19 year old friend down 19 years is a long time. I was determined not to get another cat for quite a while. I think we all know where this is heading. I lasted three months. Well done. In December last year, a friend of my husband said he had some kittens that he was looking for a home for. Over the years, I've had up to four cats at one time. No comments here. But I have never had siblings before. Yeah, it's very interesting. Obviously, some of my cats are siblings and uh, it's nice, actually. But I don't know if it always goes that way. Like my cats sleep on top of each other. Some siblings, some siblings hate each other. It's just like humans, isn't it? We each named a cat. I named my cat Miss Little Girl Boo Poopington. She gets Miss Poopington. Boo, boo, po boo pooping ton, all in one word, boop and boopy girl. My husband named his sweet little poppet Countess. Oh, Countess, name not title. So it's like Countess, I suppose, is both the title and the cat's name, which I'm loving that. Squish Worthington. Oh, Countess Squish Worthington the 14th. <laughs> Where's the other 13? Does she come from a long line of squishy Countesses? She is mostly called Squish, this happens, but also Squishy Girl, Little Squishy and Poppet. You've been my morning coffee friend for years now and I look forward to you being that for many years. Susan, now how absolutely gorgeous is that? That's so nice, thank you very much, Susan. And I like the patchwork detail on your profile picture thing. Okay, let's have some cards. I'll take up these these were more expensive readers because look, they got boingy sides. Um, I think they were six pounds, whereas my other ones range from, I think these are actually one pound 79 or they might be 79p, but these bad boys have lasted. These have gone a bit, you know, when you hold, you're wearing them and they feel like they're kind of sideways. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's have some cards for this weekend, for the weekend vibe. Check out your mid-month readings, I know. I'm so proud of that. And it was a joy to do them as well, actually. They popped off, it was just like, woohoo, mid-month. I got into it. What do we need to know, please? It's sunny today, um, but we're expecting thundery showers this afternoon as a penance for the sun. <laughs> This very much happens in the UK. You know, it's a kind of cynical view. You look at the sunshine and you think, <clears throat> what price do I pay for this? Okay, but we'll take it while it's offered. I'm trying to see what's going on in the street, but as you know, very little. They're back, you know, the door, the sanded door, and we were guessing the paint color, they're back. And they're doing some work. 
so I'm going to start that again actually I don't know why it just doesn't feel right um, they're back and they're working there's been some going on obviously um, but they always wait till I switch the camera on before they do that but you know will they actually get round to painting the door I think they will and I'm seeing red for a colour just saying right I better crack on because I've got to take my mum to the station in a minute she's visiting my brother god I almost wish I'd stuck with the original there never mind never mind <laughs> high-pitched voice overall energy card which is very welcome at any time is the king of pentacles think of the king of pentacles like well, I was going to say wholemeal bread, but you know, some people don't eat gluten. Kind of wholesome. Wholesome, and it's always the grapes growing, you've got the pentacles. He's always right there, really solid. Not like the King of Wands, who's kind of like, you know, got his disco stick, you know, and he's ready to kind of groove with you. Or the King of Swords, who's a bit the sword or the scales. Or the king of cups he's just like and another thing i really love you <laughs> i really do you know when people get to the end of the night that can be the king of cups um or yes i've been writing poetry about you for quite a while mm. takes a, a grubby little notebook from under his arm mm. in fact i'm writing poetry about you now that can also be the king of cups king of pentacles is just where do you want it He's lifting a heavy box of stuff for you. He's turned up on time. He's, doesn't matter whether he has to work hard. It's not showing you that. It's just, where do you want it? That's the kind of ride or die that is King of Pentacles. So now that we've done a little, that's quite fun actually. I might do that for a learning tarot thing. What do you reckon? Be good, you do an impression of each of the cards. Harder to do when it's like the twos and the threes. But I could do it, I think. I would enjoy that. Let me know. Miming or doing little skits for each card. Because that tell you what, it would help you to remember them. Anyhow, I digress. The King of Pentacles, someone solid. So we've got something to rely on. We can be the King of Pentacles for other people this weekend. They can be the King of Pentacles for us. Asking advice about money, getting your finances sorted, all good. Then we've got the nine of wands. You may be in a situation where you're being a little defensive. You may, it may be about money. It may be about stuff owing to you. It might be about generosity or lack of it. Um, I would say, and this is interesting. I would say the message that I'm getting is, uh, it kind of starts at home. So that somebody might have done a minor thing okay but you have a button for that minor thing I think they call it being triggered but I really hate that word they're stepping on more than what they know they're stepping on so it's not particularly intentional okay so you may want to react defensively if you can see the bigger picture okay got the star in reverse this is about holding yourself back from what your true wishes are and instead being distracted by surface things um, that you can see. And your wishes are more something that aligns with your heart. We then have the page of swords, which is communication, the beginning of it. You could rebuild communication with somebody. This is just the very kind of nursery blocks, the building blocks, the foundations. Again, the King of Pentacles is nice for this because the King of Pentacles is like building a brick wall, you know? from the bottom up, good foundations, that kind of thing. We have the five of cups in reverse. There may be something that you need to grieve or just something you need to process which has made you upset and that may come out as irritation, as it often does. You know, when people are upset, they don't conveniently cry and let you know. Um, not all crying is convenient actually, but you know what I mean. They don't always come out with pure upsetness much more often, especially if we're close to them, it's going to be snappiness, anger, sarcasm, that kind of thing. Learn to see the bigger picture if you can. 
by the way, as I'm talking, the sky's going noom with grey clouds and I can feel the atmospheric pressure. I don't know about you, but I, maybe it's because I'm a double water sign. I can feel weather pressure massively, like in my nose. I can actually, it's like it's pushing down on my nose. Then we get the death card. Nice. Have a good weekend, won't you? <laughs> Let's leave it there. No, death card, Scorpio. There's a deeper change going on right now than you realise. Okay, that's all you need to know about that at the moment. Don't go looking for extra meaning in that. Um, don't go giving yourself trash talk because maybe you reacted to something. This is all a bit of a learning process. You need to be, <coughs> excuse me, I've got really bad allergies. You need to be the king of pentacles for yourself or if there's someone around who can be the king of pentacles for you, lean on them. There you go. Have a lovely weekend. Let me know in the comments um, what you're dancing to, what your fitness thing is, if you've got one. I lift the spoon to my mouth and I'll see you soon. Namaste.